Hello and welcome to another episode of Art Tips and Life Flips. This is your host, Nils Schroeder Siege, and today I am talking about optimism. I feel like optimism is the perfect thing that you need. I know it sounds ridiculous sometimes. Sometimes like people are like, yeah, if you just think about it, then it will be. And that's not true exactly. Like if I think about a sandwich, the sandwich will not appear. I still have to go and make it. But if I'm being pessimistic, like, oh man, I'll never have a sandwich. And then I just sit around thinking that I'm never gonna have a sandwich. I'm never going to have a sandwich. Being pessimistic just does not help anyway. It really just makes your life harder. It makes your life more depressing, darker. The way that things work is if you tell yourself something enough, like this is more internalized. This isn't, when it comes to optimism, it can work with other people, yes. But right now I'm just gonna be talking about you as an individual and myself. When I tell myself that I can do something over and over and over again, I start to believe, I start to internalize that belief. Back when I was still trying to get out of my depression and my friend was helping me out, me and him used to do this thing before we went out every night. And it was, uh, we had a bit of a pep talk for ourselves. And I, I actually recommend this to everybody. This is an amazing pep talk. I actually talked to another lady who I was working with and she had a pep talk as well. And she said people thought she was crazy because she would do the pep talk on the street on her way to work while walking down the street. And people would just look at her like she was nuts. But I thought that was awesome. So we were getting ready for a, for a night out. And sometimes I didn't want to go out, but I knew I needed to because I needed to see people because I was trying my best to hobbit because I was depressed. And I knew I had to get out. And so my buddy and me, we would sit there and we call each other and we'd be like, all right, tonight is going to be amazing. It's going to be an amazing night. We're going to have an epic time. We're going to make our happiness. And anybody who wants to join into our epic is allowed to join. But anybody who's being negative can go away. They can do things on their own, but it will not affect our epic night or something to that degree. It changed every week or so. We just, you know, we mix it up. But the overall gist was that we were gonna have a great time no matter what. We told ourselves, we are going to make tonight awesome. Every single time we went out, all right? That was the type of optimism that we held, was that we had the power to make our night perfect. Now, we can't control things around us, but we can control ourselves. Even when something that was less than favorable would happen, we would not let it affect our moods because we were so determined that we were going to have a good night, that we had a good night. We met amazing people, amazing people that we don't think, I don't think I could ever have met any other way because they were attracted to the positivity that we were giving off. Guys, girls, I made good, great friends all around. I met random strangers because I was just in such a good mood all the time because I told myself to be in a good mood. I didn't go out thinking, well, tonight might not be that great. I mean, you know, you gotta be kind of realistic about it. You can't like, you know, you can't just expect the night to be awesome. What if it rains? What if, what if your friends don't show up? What? So what? Stop. You have to stop thinking about the what if, what if, what if negativity garbage. You need to focus on the great stuff. Because what if that happens? What if something bad happens that night? You know, what if somebody gets lost? What if you trip over and get hurt? But what if you have a great time? What if you don't get lost, right? Everybody wants to, everybody says realistic and they think about the most negative things. They're so pessimistic and they tie that together with realism when that's not the same thing. Why can't optimism be the realistic way to be? Why can't being optimistic be the proper way to do things? So that's what, that's what I do. When I wake up in the morning, I'm optimistic about the day. I'm gonna get a lot of work done today. I'm gonna talk to some great people. I'm gonna change some lives. <laughs> that's, that's what I think about in the morning. I'm gonna do my best to give back, to help people out because I love people. I love what I'm doing and I'm just happy. Are things completely ideal in my life? No, am I perfectly happy in the position, in the situation that I'm in right now? No. There's so many things that, is, that I desire, so many things that I need to improve upon to become happier in my life. But am I gonna let that make me be pessimistic about everything? No, because what's pessimism gonna do? It's just gonna make things slower. It's gonna slow me down. It's gonna make me feel bad. It's gonna make me regret. And I don't need that. I thrive off of positive energy and I recommend for you to thrive off of positive energy as well because positive energy is what is going to move mountains. Thinking I can't do it, well there's no proof of that so it can't be, it doesn't 
matter. That kind of stuff isn't gonna help you. If there's no proof that something happens and then you make it happen, then what are you gonna do? You're just, just not gonna believe yourself? You know, you have to try things, you have to take risks, you have to do things, and you need to tell yourself that it's worth it to do because I believe in it. This is something that I want to do, so I am going to do it because I'm a positive person. Be a positive light. Be that light and that source and inspiration for other people. Be that be that beacon that everybody goes to and sees as a happy person. That should be you. You can be happy. You can choose to be happy regardless of the th- bad things are happening around you. I've seen it. I've seen it on people way less fortunate than myself who smile so brightly every single day because they just are so optimistic because they're grateful and they're happy for the things that they have and they know once they get more, it's just just bonuses. Okay? So that's my challenge. Be happy. Smile. Do something positive for somebody else and tell yourself that today is going to be an amazing day. It's going to be epic and I'm going to invite everybody to join in and be happy with me but if somebody's going to try to bring me down they can hang out on their own thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of art tips and life flips if you like the video give it a thumbs up as usual share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't I make videos every single Tuesday so check back for next Tuesday and check out throughout the week because I drop videos randomly I gotta go I am so busy right now peace